Okay, Mug Club movie review. That doesn't really make sense because this is often on YouTube. It's this not exclusive yeah, it's to not Mug Club, Club at all. people. But okay, Avengers, uh, Infinity War? Infinity, was, Infinity War. I was just about to say Age of Ultron. There are so many. So many. Before we get into the full review, um, Mug Up or No Mug? Mugs up? No. I, I'm going to give it a mug down. It's not a, it's not a, yeah, no mug. You're not, no mug. No mug. Okay, no mug. Last film we did was A uh, Quiet Place, was two mugs up, no mug. So, there you go. You can watch the rest of the review, and I recommend some context. Now, before we get into why we liked it, why we didn't, there might be some spoilers here. Uh, if you see this image, that is the context right before. <laughs> For some reason, not gay, Jared and I went to a Cajun restaurant, and they pushed the punch bowl, and we said, we well, made all the wrong decisions. Well, let's, let's do the punch bowl. You're the gator? But I do. See, I have a... I have yeah. A, Killed that one, too. Yeah. So we have a little rubber gator. So we did go... It was late at night. It had been a long week. I have a two infe sinus infection, bronchial inf Probably wasn't a good choice. Uh, that, it doesn't change the fact that didn't like the movie. Um, so I just want to give you some context. Now, let me let me get some context as well, because because people will always say you're a snob if you don't like a superhero film a lot That's of the true. time, unless it's unilaterally hated like Green Lantern. Yeah. You know, my favorite superhero films... Are uh, you know, probably I liked Deadpool, I liked Logan, obviously the Dark Knight series, and then if we're talking about more of a family friendly sort of superhero film, Spider Man 2, the one with Alfred Molina and Tony, yep. I think is a fantastic example. So I do like superhero films, I just don't like bad ones. Yeah, I would, I would add uh, to that the one that I actually would like Guardians. I thought Guardians was oh, I did like very, Guardians, it yeah. was fresh. They didn't, they didn't I did like assume it. you cared about the characters, they built them yes. from scratch. And even the sequel, I thought, was above and beyond what normal sequels are. They built on every character. Every character had an arc. I didn't like the you. sequel as much. It wasn't a better sequel. It wasn't better, like but it the was... Dark Knight. No, no, no. Those ones definitely kind of built in, in a way that grew with each film. Yes. This one came down a notch, but it was better than most... Yeah, and you know what? I actually, any, any I actually liked X-Men 2. Any of the Iron Man sequels. Uh, X-Men 2, the one where Magneto pulls the iron out of the, 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 the blood of the guy to escape Oh, the one that starts out in the present. White House. Yeah. yeah, that one. And I liked X-Men First Class. I thought it was fantastic. The first one good. with James McAvoy. That was good. So, um, so don't don't do the whole. Oh, you haven't read the comic books. You're not, I have shoeboxes full of comic books and superhero cards. It don't matter. I'm well aware. I, and I think you actually just touched on the central point why I do not recommend uh, this recent Avengers film. You know, we've always talked about with the show. Mm -hmm. You need to earn the audience with every single performance, yep. right? They don't know that you did a show two weeks ago and it was packed and it was with stand up. It doesn't matter. You're re earning it every single time. They didn't do that with this. They really, this film is really banking on you loving the entire Marvel universe and thinking that every, it's kind of like Disney. Everything is a triumph, a brilliant return. Well, hold on. We'll be the judge of that. You have to believe that every, every triumph of the Marvel universe is something to be marveled. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the fun and clever part about the Marvel Cinematic Universe is that every film ties in together. The part that makes it suck is the fact that they shortchanged every movie so that yeah. it could all tie in together. And so all those movies were shortchanged so that they could tie into the bigger theme. And then when we get to this point, it's so reliant on films you saw 10 years ago and plot points and characters yeah. that you don't, you don't care about anymore. And then, but they, they assume you still do. Well, and I think it's also become more convoluted because you know we have this from Mike.com showing studies yeah. that the Marvel Universe has a definitive lack of diversity. So it's become sort of this lightning rod for social justice, warriorism, and political it complaints. It does ruin it a little bit. Like, it, 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 but I, that changes I the way they sell. write the films, too, because they try and make it more diverse. Yeah. They try and make it more... You can see that in the arc of the I film. Can see, even if it's not there, I, <laughs> I perceive it that way because I'm looking for it because they've set me I up that. to look for it. Yeah. Even Spider-Man, I was like... Are all the classmates? Do they all have to be a different race and, and creed and, and and religion? Like I don't know. Like I think that's just because you have the Iron Cross tattooed on your lower abdomen. That's true. I, I think I think you're exclusive. Swipe. Um. So what? Okay. But I want to be clear. Why would you like it? If you really love the Marvel universe and you love the CGI and the pew 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 and just nothing but action and, and, Hawkeye. and, and by the way, <laughs> remarkable inconsistency. The, the Star Lord wasn't at all the same character. In this, as he was in he Guardians was, of the Galaxy, he, he was like he was neutered. He he was different. He was different for sure. And I, I'm sure they had to play that to make it fit with the overall dynamics of all the other characters because all the have, diversity. They have other you know alpha male characters now. Yeah, to work with. So I think it's it's part of the purple scrotum chin. Trying to make too much frostbitten work. scrotum face. Thanos. And I know everyone's going, Thanos. Thanos is not the greatest villain in the Marvel Universe, okay? I know Fantastic yeah. Four sucked, but Doom was actually a much more interesting storyline. If you go back and you look at villains, so it, you will like it if you're just looking for popcorn. Uh, summer action. You will like it if you are 100% bought into the Marvel Universe. 
Uh, I don't think you'll like it if you're looking for a film that stands alone with a coherent plot or something that really, something that, that creates characters you care about, that engages you. We just reviewed A Quiet Place. It did that very effectively. Yeah. And in very short order, they built the character uh, backstory. With this, it, it, just, it just banks on you already caring about them from the previous films. True. Fun fact, though, if you've been looking for what Jesse Ventura's been up to, we found them. We found him. He's turned out he screwed an orc. Yes. Yeah. Out, yes, he's turned out he screwed an orc. And he gets, spoiler alert, then he gets thrown out into space. He does. So, uh, Nagi Jir and I barely, and I know everyone wants to talk about the ending of the film. And, oh, how shocking. But you, you have to make it to the ending. Uh, no mug for me. And I will say this. I'm getting really tired of the superhero films. It's they a tired tire really it for a decade. And then, and then Deadpool is the only thing fresh to happen to it yeah. in a while. I thought X-Men First Class, then that whole generation of X-Men kind of uh, fizzled out, became more of same old, same old. Brian Singer, you know, diddled the kid, whatever it is. And then uh, Deadpool was great. I thought Logan was a fantastic send-off. Like, we don't have to talk about the DC yeah, side. Yeah, I mean, we don't even we didn't mention that. Yeah, yeah. Dark, dark, dark Knight is still the gold standard. Dark Knight, and then I would even say Dark Knight Rises. So, uh, in conclusion... No mug, mug, and put it down, put it down. No mug for Avengers, Shots. Infinity War, and uh, hopefully that was informative and uh, about the lack of diversity in the Marvel Universe. To people who, and I understand that some people are sensitive about that, right? I, I understand it. It's a big deal. To, to you, I say, it's a comic book. They're wearing underwear outside of their pants, and the man's chin looks like a frostbitten scrotum, and they're traveling across. It's a comic book. Hey, if you like this video, you can subscribe or click nope. the bell. Oh my god! Subscribe or hit the notification bell, which is right next to the subscription button, because subscriptions don't mean anything anymore. Or you can watch the no late, ni late night show every single day at lottowithcarter.com slash mug club. You get this hand etched mug, all these other shows, and you can subscribe and watch it every day so we can keep doing this because YouTube doesn't want to pay us. Lottowithcarter.com slash mug club. Subscribe, notification bell. Concussion. Someone call 911.